Okay, now, now tell me the difference between the 85 and the full size Microtech. Okay, two things. These are 85s. Of course, they're the same size. And they have aluminum handles. These are aluminum, nicely rounded. They're just These are they're modern. Just yeah. Same with different blades. I like that blade. That's Tanto. Is that the, a Tanto the, blade? The Tanto blade. Tanto blade. And this is the uh, upswept. I can't remember the exact name of that, but that's black. The it problem is, with the serrated. black is uh, I have problems with it opening boxes from my Amazon. Car cardboard is hell on knives that have this coating on them. Yeah. And so it'll actually kind of wear that coating down. <laughs> so whenever I buy new ones, I won't get the black coating. Okay. But the black coating is really sexy when, when you first get when it. When you I first mean, get it, but this but, one. But you just. I kind of like this. I think that's great. That has a lot of energy. That that spring is, it is really, feel the difference how soft that one goes out now. It might be because I've had it longer. But this one, it's got a pretty strong recoil. Yeah. And what's cool about uh the, the Microtex is that you can open them, and if it deploys in your pocket, it's not going to put a hole in you. Yeah. It, it doesn't have that much yeah. energy, but it, 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 hard, it just won't even go through a piece of paper hardly, you know. Yeah, the potion. No, mine's like that too, but yeah, yours is this thing is, too. I like it just because it's, mm -hmm. it's got a big old honking blade on it, you know, and, yeah. and I can do all kinds of Cut I mean, wood yeah, wood. I mean, and you won't, if you lose it, they won't kill you, it won't break the bank. That's right. And they still sell these, they're $30. Yeah. And uh, they, you know, they're an amazing knife for what they are. I love the way this one's wearing. It's got all that honest wear on it, and it just, <laughs> it just feels so good. It really feels good. And they're, it's and the same get, thing. Like if you get it full of crud or something, it'll... Uh, you can just take it apart with a screwdriver. Oh, have you done that before? Yeah. Yeah. He's got these little uh, hex mm -hmm. screws up there. Or what do you call Not hex screws. What do you call those? The um, uh, I, know. I know what you're talking about. But yeah. you just take that star, mm -hmm. take those out, and you take it out, and it's just got this mm -hmm. little flat spring. It's all yeah. held together. And you, so you just take the, the spring set out, yeah. clean it, put the spring set back in. You don't have individual springs. You just mm -hmm. have a, a spring set, and it's just no problem. One thing about the Microtech, they have these uh, priority, priority, uh, these screws that they make. Proprietary. Proprietary. Pro proprietary screws. Yeah. <laughs> that, you have to buy their own. You have to buy their screwdriver. Screwdriver. Yeah. And um, so, and I, I don't know what it costs. The bad rap on the zero tolerance, this this particular model, is you have to buy their um, particular proprietary screwdriver just to open and take that knife apart. Really? Same thing with them, huh? Yeah, and they have a certain screwdriver that goes down and the people, the bad rap on these from the knife experts is that uh, they don't include the, They don't know where you take it apart? They don't include, well, We'll just send it back. Yeah, I guess. Now, where's where's the uh, the where's the one with the uh, I was thinking about the Beluga. Uh, the Beluga. The, uh, that's the the green one. Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, oh there it is. I was going to check your drawers. Okay, show me the Beluga again. That's this that is the Beluga. Flips, it just flips open by really good solid blade. You say this is something like sixty bucks? By Best Tech, fifty. Fifty bucks. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Best Tech. Best Tech. And anyway, and okay. this has a great feeling about. It. I like the uh, finger grooves on it. It's strong. It's got nice jimping up on the top. You can hold it different ways. You know. Yeah. Well, good. This will be our first mini review. And this is a liner lock. The uh, line steel in the box. It comes with its own little specialty opener so they want you to be able to take these apart and you have the uh, screwdriver with it yeah the the screwdriver that's designed just to get right into that bearing to open yeah, okay. that up 
But this uh, one thing about the uh, line steel is this has a little bit of a of a lock here, and you just rot rotate it, oh. and then that way it will not close down. You oh, can't close that's, it. That's, now that I haven't seen that on a knife before. But then you open it back up. Oh, so you can lock, lock it, it open, and then that way it can't close on your hand. Ready to go. Yeah. So the only only thing about that one is a little bit slick on the handle's a little slick. Yeah. Still a beautiful knife, though. That um, most of the time, I mean, I'm not gutting deer or anything with it. It's just opening boxes from Amazon, you know. Yeah. But it's opening it boxes of knives from Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Okay.